Hi Gemini, this is Marishi Yama Chakshaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this week. Gemini is out there. So Moon or Rising Venus. Gemini is out there. Your first card is this one, Three of Pentacles. So it seems like there are other people in your story who is... Who has been betraying you? Who has stabbed you in the back? Okay. Uh, some of you might have been dealing with a Capricorn energy. Okay. The verdict has been made because somebody has stabbed you in the back. Wow. Uh, some of you might be dealing with another Gemini energy or a Capricorn energy. Okay. And you feel uh, feel defeated. Okay? Things have come to a complete dead end because of what they have done to you. This could be a work situation, this could be a family situation, this could be a relationship situation, but whatever it is, people have betrayed you. What else, Gemini? You're hurting right now. Okay, to your pentacles. You are in a situation where you feel very much outcasted. You are trying to juggle things out. You are trying to keep things in balance. Okay. Again, a Capricorn energy. There is a toxic energy around you. Okay, and you have to deal with it. You have to just deal with it no matter what. Uh, um, yeah. I feel like you cannot cut away. For some reason you cannot uh, get away. What else? Very strong Capricornian energy. Because these two cards and the devil card is a Capricorn energy. What else, Gemini? You're trying to assess the situation. Like what's going on. Okay. So much disappointment. So much regrets. Okay, you focus on um, what has happened, what has been lost. Okay, you focus on the spilt milk. There is so much conflicts going on in your head. Okay? In regards to what these people have done to you. You're taking it slow. You want to get out of the situation, but you're taking it slow. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion energy or probably a Leo or a Virgo energy. Gemini, what else? Your next card is this one. Yes, the judgment. You've decided. Okay? You've lost the plot. You're imbalanced up here. Okay? Because you're trying to come to terms with what they have done. Okay? But the verdict has been made. You have decided. Okay? And now you take you charging forward. You took your time with this, trying to figure out what has happened. Now you are yeah, literally calling the shots. Okay? Because you're charging forward. There, there, there is some kind of an opportunity which you have with, with what uh, you all charged up. Okay? I don't know what that opportunity is, but it's almost like you are having a say at this. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Gemini, what else? Hmm. 
Knight of Cups. Whatever it is you're running with, either you want to offer this cup to somebody or this Knight of Cups is coming towards you. I almost feel like it is you. Okay, whoever the story is for. This person is going forth with this cup. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces person. Scorpio or Sagittarius again. Hmm. Confusing really. What else, Gemini? What else? Because you've made up your mind what you need. Okay, because you are not okay with how things are. And you're going to make a change. And you're all charged up. That's an interesting part. You're all charged up about what you're going to do. What else, Gemini? Next card is this one. Whatever they were doing, okay, you were unaware of it. It was happening behind the scenes. Okay, the deception, the betrayal, all that. But now, you're very much uh, seen through this, okay? You know what has happened. You know exactly what they were up to. Because a queen is somebody who will, you know, keep a rock on her heart and make the right decision. And I see you making a decision regards to something. Regards to whatever has happened. So you're going to deal with them. Okay? It's almost like they will be caught off guard. Gemini, what else? The next card is this one. Nine of Wands. Yet... You're very much anxious about the outcome, about the people whom you're dealing with. You're very optimistic about things going away, but uh, still there is a sense of being um, anxious. You're anticipating how, how will things turn out. Hmm? Once you, uh, you know, say it out loud, this is how it's going to be. What is going to be the outcome? You, you are constantly watching your back. These people. You have to be cautious about them. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius person. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. All what you want is this beautiful future. Okay? You're hoping for it. With the seven of pentacles, you are manifesting it. You're waiting for it because this is what you wanted. This is what you wished for. Okay? It is. It brings you joy, complete joy, happiness. It is what you dreamt for, uh, dreamt about, having this stable, secure future. Yes, you have been working on this to manifest it. Alright, so uh, I feel like you're going towards somebody to make this happen, in the hopes of making it happen. You're letting go of whoever is, you know, uh, whoever is a thorn in your path. Yes, you want to succeed no matter what. Some of you might be dealing with the Leo energy. Gemini, what else? Next card is a Queen of Pentacles. You're someone who is very nurturing. Okay? In regards to the person whom you're dealing with, you have invested a lot of work or time or energy into this person. And you want to hold on to this. You just don't want uh, people to come in between the two of you. You're nurturing it. Okay? Nurturing this person. You want this person. 
Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius or maybe a Sagittarius. Yeah, you're not giving up. Whatever the case may be, you're not giving up. So Aquarius energy. There is other people. Yeah. There's definitely other people. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. <sighs> Who comes in between your foundation, your marriage, your relationship. There are people who are butting their head into your business. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. What else, Gemini? You're just not liking how things are right now. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy. Your next card is this one. Yes, you want the wheel to turn around in your favor. That is why you are, um, you know, speaking up or putting it out there. This is how it's going to be there. Uh, going to be. Okay, with this judgment. Okay, this is your way of turning the wheel around. New beginnings. You're taking a chance with this. And you're very much anxious about how things are going to turn out. Okay? But yet, you are willing to take this chance. So you get what you want. What you dreamt about. With that Nine of Cups. What is your last card, Gemini? You want to succeed. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. We are talking about, uh, see, and we have the Three of Cups here. So definitely there is other people who is involved between the two of you. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. But there is multiple people or a third party in between the two of you. Make sense? But you want to succeed. Okay? Doesn't matter what they're doing to you. You know, because Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, they are betraying you. All that, you want to succeed at the end. What is your last card, Gemini? Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're aiming for. I already spoke about it. Again, okay? this is what you're hoping for. Having this connection. Being back together. Merging together to have the stable, secure future. Being abundant. Alright? This is what you're aiming for. Uh, and you're going to do something about this. Alright? And you made up your mind to you know, offer this. To have this. To turn the wheel around. Okay? That's it for now. This is Marisha. You're my channel to look at. Until next time. Bye-bye.